Hey there guys and welcome back to my channel and in today's video guys as you've probably read the title of you know what it's about is the RTX 4080 Ti worth spending 700 pounds for and uh, I gotta be honest guys, I gotta be a hundred percent honest with you guys. Hell to the no, it's not worth it. And the reason mainly is guys is because no matter what game you play guys, after you're after you get an at least hundred and twenty frames per second guys in any game, you don't need any more than that. Anything else on top is just sort of future proof to say yeah this PC can run the next two three years high end games you know like without any problem it's mainly for future proofing but like the cost of buying a 4080 Ti at 700 versus buying like something like say a RTX 2070 Super for um two you can get you can pick them up for like 220 220 used, you know, versus 700 um, for 4090 RTX, sorry, RTX 4080 Ti. Um, you know, yeah, you could say, oh, well, it's brand new, so you know, you got your warranty, fair enough. But remember, you're only paying like 220 versus 700, so you know, it's like almost, it's almost four times. It's almost four times more and 220 pounds even if something did go wrong with it yeah um it wouldn't be the end of the world because you could still get it repaired or yeah if you buy from like a um, like a shop like say cex or a cash converter they have like a year warranty on them anyway cx cx actually has two years warranty so if I was you guys, I'd buy it. Uh, if you're going to buy a graphics card, I'd buy it from CEX, and um, because they offer a two-year warranty on everything they sell. So you've got the warranty anyway. Don't buy it from Facebook Marketplace because you know you could buy something from from an individual on Facebook. You know you can be haggling away, thinking you're getting a good deal. You go home, you plug it in, it doesn't work. You contact them, they don't even like get back to you. You could even go around the house and they'll be like, Oh, well, I've spent that money now, mate. You know, so yeah. So yeah, I'd buy from CX, um, RTX 2070 Super. Um, and like the frame, the frame difference, the frame rate, like you know, um, I was, I was, I was watching um, some frame. Um, some benchmarks on on YouTube, and um, they're benchmarking Tomb Raider and um, Cyberpunk. Um, now there was a hundred and seventy two frames per second on um, Tomb Raider on the RTX twenty seventy Super, and it was only a hundred and eighty six frames per second on the forty eighty Ti. And that was with um, a uh, that's with the um, core. That yeah, that was with an ice um, core i nine. So you know it's not been bottlenecked by the processor. And a lot of games, you see, the problem is that um, a lot of games just have a sort of floor limit, and they can't really go much further than that, no matter what you throw at them, because the game's so old, you know. So it, it can't really take advantage of the extra. Um, you know the extra shaders, the extra uh, um, units in it, and the extra cores. You know, um, and the the bandwidth as well. But I I gotta be honest, guys. Uh, I think someone buying that, they just want to buy it just to say, yeah, I got a forty eighty or I got a forty ninety ti. I got a forty eighty ti. You know. And you know, you know, it's the height, it's the best it can be, just to say that. I think that's what a lot of people do, it's just to say, yeah. Because I was talking to this guy, um, and he had a 3060, 
and back then I didn't have I didn't have like a, a fuss. I only had like a, just a computer that I could um, just run Overwatch well and Fortnite well. You couldn't really do much more than that. It was a um, RX fifty five hundred, and um, he said it's got a thirty sixteen. He says he wants to get a thirty eighty, and I was thinking, gosh man, this guy's crazy. It's, it's thirty six is more than capable. However, um, I actually found out that 3060 is a bit of a slouch um, because the 2070 Super is faster. So um, basically, I can kind of understand why you want to upgrade to a 3080. You probably thought, oh gosh, it's even the generation before is faster than my 3060. But like, even though he could still play any game he wanted on it, you know, the Vs, the Vs, you know. And he said he's only playing like. Um, is, is sort of playing this mod with GT, a eh? where you can like talk in it and you can like go on um, like uh, adventures and you can like rob people like GTA does. You can fight and you can have all your friends playing at the same time. You know, it's sort of like a. I seen this guy streaming it. It's actually it actually looks quite fun. Um, but yeah, that was his uh, that was his reason mainly. He just wants to like just to just to say it's better than. The generation before because he wants something that's like the next generation but with these cars yeah they don't go up like a lot more the name sounds a lot better from what it actually does say 2070 super versus a 3080 super you think gosh it's going to be you think the 30 the 3070 super is going to be really good compared to that but it's only about like 15 to 20 frame 15 to 20 percent better you know it's not it's not massive same with it like each generation probably goes up if you're comparing like like for like if you compare like a uh, a 2070 to a 3070 and a 3070 to a 4070 each increment up is probably about 15 to 20 percent um, but then when you just when they slap you when they slap like a TI on the back of something or a super on the back of something of a, of a, pre, uh, of a graphics card say a, a 2070 super or a 3070 super instead of just a 2070 or a 3070 you, you put the super on the back that 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 difference is only about seven um seven percent guys it's not a lot it's not a lot it's like about half of like uh, a the next one up on your graphics card so you'll have like a 2070 to a 2080 it's somewhere in between that it's like a 2070 super it's like 2070 and then 2070 super that gives you another like 10 percent more and then 2080 that gives you another 10 percent more so yeah basically uh if you if you've got like a 2080 and you grow to a 4080 you may see about a 40%, yeah, you probably see about a 40%, which is fair enough. But like the amount you've got to pay, you're paying like about 400% more just to get 40% improvement. So guys, there's your answer. It's not worth it, 40, 80 in my opinion, unless you, unless you, if it's only worth it if you've got a lot of money. you got a lot of money, it don't matter. You know, if you've got like, you, you, you know, if, say if you're earning like, you know, 40 grand 50 grand a year you know you've got everything sorted you know yeah go by all means go and treat yourself you know by all means but if you're looking for like something with a big performance difference and it's gonna if you're thinking oh my gosh this is gonna be mind blowingly massive when I upgrade from a 28 to a 4080 Ti or whatever then it's not worth it because that's it's not going to be big. It's not going to be a big difference, you know. In most games you play, you know, once you've got 120 frames per second already, um, I say even 165 uh, frames per second, you know. I mean, most people haven't even got 180 hertz monitor, you know. Yeah, you still get it will still be smoother. It will still be smoother, like especially even like fighting scenes, right? But even then, like um, the fighting scenes these days. Aren't they, they don't basically give um, they don't put that much pressure on like your graphics card and your CPU like they used to because the graphics cards and CPU now are like really good anyway. 
you know it's so you don't really need like to, it to be like running at 300 frames per second so then when you go into a fighting mode you get it it goes down to 200 it, it never drops that much anyway but when, when you go like into a fighting scene it only maybe drops about 10 15 percent so if you're getting 120 frames you'll still be getting about like 105 frames you know what i mean in a fighting mode which is more than enough it's smooth you know 60 hertz is like perfect already you know, there's no when you, when you when you're playing a game at 60 hertz there's no jerky lookingness at all it's smooth anyway you know so guys yeah that's that's the deal so guys like and subscribe tell me what you for um tell me what you craft card you guys are running um and yeah i'll see you in my next video peace